I hope you will be happy. And uh, if going by what you just said, mm -hmm. I feel be under the leadership of God. Yes. If, 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 you, if you are to go by what you said, mm -hmm. yes, you have no worries that IPOB was prescribed. But many uh, of you are worried that IPOB under the leadership of God was prescribed. Who is worried? Did I look worried? Do you look worried? Does he look worried? Nobody's worried. Can I add something here? Mm. I do not subscribe to what they regard as a, uh, proscribing. You cannot proscribe a people. IPOB is indigenous people of Biafra. You cannot proscribe a race. Are you saying that it's not, a, it's not, a, it's not an organization? Listen. IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, is not an organization. What the, the, the federal government should specify what they mean. The IPOB, I know, the IPOB that represents the indigenous people of Biafra is not an organization and cannot be proscribed. You cannot proscribe a race. You cannot proscribe a people. You cannot provide, you cannot proscribe and a people that has existed for thousands and thousands of years. It's impossible. Can you proscribe uh, uh, Hausa people? Can you proscribe Yoruba people? How dare you say that you will proscribe Igbo people? If you say that you are proscribing the indigenous people of Biafra, you, you are saying invariably that you are proscribing Igbo people. It's an insult. I don't accept that. So there should be specification. They should be specific on what they mean. And then it will be clearer. You cannot declare an, an entire race as a um, terrorist organization. Is Hausa people terrorist organization? Okay. Is all the Hausa people terrorists? Or is all the Yoruba people terrorists? How can you say that all the Igbo people are terrorists? Okay. Um, so what I'm saying is that um, Biafra has a case in court with Nigeria. And we want the media to project it. We want the federal government to recognize that they are in court with Nigeria. I just want you to give us one, two, or three of the items from these courts. Uh, is, uh, is taken. One of the things, like my boss said, uh, the chairman said here, one of the things we are seeking is that let the court give us a declaratory statement whether the name Biafra is, leg is illegal. Whether we don't have the right to be called Biafran. Because we have documentary evidence which is, has been sourced by our legal team that says that Biafra had been in existence even before Nigeria was created. Therefore, it is a name that had been in existence before Nigeria. And why should the people be afraid whenever the name Biafra is mentioned? So we want the court to tell the world whether we don't have the right to be called Biafra. One. Two. Going by international conventions and protocols, do we not have right to self-determination? Do Biafran people, in recognition of their indigenous identity, do we not have right to decide, to determine how we are going to be by ourselves? How we are going to uh, discuss, be, be, believe, uh, relate with our neighbors? How we are going to have ourselves governed? Don't we have that right as an indigenous people? You get the point? This is one of them. And then the other one is whether we do not have the right to go in and execute that right to self-determination. We are not a group that disobeys the law. We insist that whatever you do, you must do within the law of wherever you are. Either in Nigeria, Biafra land, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Thailand, United States of America. Obey the law of the day. Now, we took Nigerian government to court for declaratory statements on what rights do we have. Do we have right to call ourselves Biafrans or not? And the word Biafra has come to mean more than just a group. It means an ethnic nationality that was there going back to the 15th century before the Portuguese explorers came this way. You cannot suddenly get up and say, uh, he's dead. 
or prescribe it. Yeah. Now, let, let, let me let me please. Now, if there is a wing of a group that is doing something that is not proper, you can say stop this action, but you cannot say you are prescribing a people. It is misnomer, lack of proper lang understanding of the language, part of part of improper understanding of the constitution of the country. If I say that I'm okay, okay, you cannot tell me you prescribe me, unless I do something irregular. If I say I'm okay, you cannot tell me I must be okay for. It is my right to choose what I'm to be called. If I want to be called uh, uh, an Aztec, that's uh, American Indian, you cannot tell me no, you can't be an Aztec. It's my business, not yours. So, uh, this person of prescription, you can say this action by this group. Don't forget, we've just come out from a meeting. Uh, did you see any policeman here? Who, are we afraid? Look at him wearing the African regalia. So, these things have limitations. And it requires the legal luminaries to clear the dust. There is a lot of ambiguity in the field. And it may confuse the ordinary man on the street. Sir, talking so, about the unity, mm -hmm. there is this uh, 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 view of many out there, talking mm -hmm. about the Yoruba. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. There are the view that the Yorubos are not united in pursuing this process. Excuse me, sir. There are the view that the they, they, they can hold any view. We also, I'm also of the view that you are not united, even in your news media house. Anybody can hold any view, good or bad. And you can always give a dog any bad name. And anybody who you want to run down, you will almost invariably find something to tag or put on the neck of that person in order to hang that person. Did we see Igbo people fighting Igbo people? Have you heard of it? Igbo intertribal or town was ended in 17th century. Not anymore. So talk of unity and do you want us to be sleeping in one bed? Or kissing ourselves. Or kissing ourselves. On the issue of Biafra. Or wearing what Now, I don't know, before, please, please, let, let me clear that on the question of Biafra, there is no one single thing you will raise under the sun where there are ten people and you expect them to have one view. An old friend of mine used to say when we were in politics, when I was in politics, we were discussing one day, he said, suddenly got up and shook his head and said, many men, many mentality. <laughs> that is, if there are many people, they have different points of view. Yes. But that doesn't mean that there is disagreement. You see, the Igbo man is very Republican. That's right. They like to discuss, argue, Georgia, but not war, war. And otherwise, it becomes dictator, uh, dictatorial. It becomes autocratic. It becomes an imposition. It becomes mental slavery. And we, do, we abhor mental slavery. Let me tell you one thing. In 17-something, Igbo people were taken to America as slaves. And they were so, they objected so much that they elected to drown themselves together, holding hands in St. Simon, St. Simon's uh, uh, Simon, uh, St. Simon's at um, what's the name of the creek in St. Simon's Island in, uh, in Georgia, Atlanta in Georgia, United States of America we went there to celebrate them for their courage, for their determination and for their resolution to go together multiple determination of people to go together tell me another race has done that the Hebrews are together well, we have